Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be implementing object tracking using OpenCV Python. So you can see in this video right now, the mammoth is walking towards his left and the blue bounding box is the one that is tracking the mammoth. So we will start by first importing CV2 and let me first quickly write the boilerplate code. So I'm going to say cap dot video capture capture of the file that we are going to have. So I'm going to give mammoth dot mp4. Okay. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write the code to play the video. Okay. So I'm going to say red comma frame equal to cap dot read. So if you have seen other um, open CV videos, you're already familiar with this code. We are trying to basically play this video. Okay. So first we will do that CV2 on M show and let me call it track and then frame. Lastly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write the CV2 dot wait key pass one and zero X F F equal to odd of Q. Okay. And if this is true, then break. Lastly, I'm going to say cap dot release and also I'm going to say CV2 dot destroy all windows. So this was the boilerplate code. Now what we are going to do, we are going to do the tracking part. Okay. So before that, let me ensure it runs. So yeah, it was running. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to define the tracker. So I'm going to say tracker is equals to CV2 dot capital tracker moose. So moose algorithm is one of the uh, object tracking algorithm. There are many, but moose is kind of fast. That's why I'm using it over here. Okay. So what we actually need to do is first we are going to have a single frame. We need to take a frame and then show to the algorithm. Then what is the uh, show to the algorithm that actually what is the object? Okay. So I have to say uh, red, com uh, red comma frame equal to cap dot read. So this line basically will read the first frame of the video as you can see in the screen right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, say B box. And I'm going to say CV2 dot select ROI. So what this will do is basically this will give us the option of manually being able to select the ROI and that ROI is basically going to be our object that will be tracked. So I'm going to say track and remember this name and this name over here. This has to be same. Okay. Otherwise you will have problems. So then I'm going to say frame and finally pass false. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to initialize the tracker. So I'm going to say tracker in it and then I'm going to say frame comma B box. Okay. Now we are done with this. Now we have to write two, three more lines and then the entire program will be ready. So now what we have to do here is once the tracker has been initialized over here, what I have to do is I need to go here and say success as you see C E S S success comma and B box. And what we are going to do here is tracker dot update update and pass the frame. Okay. So we will pass it over here. And what I'm going to do now is if it is successful, uh, if the object is being found in the frame, like if the uh, mammoth is being detected, then success will be true. Otherwise it will be false. So I'm going to say if success, that is if success is true, what I'm going to do is first let me print the bounding boxes. Okay. So that you can see. So I have put the screenshot of the bounding boxes. So as you can see, all the boxes are just tuples and every tuple has four values and it is of the form X comma Y comma W comma H. So X and Y is basically the top left corner of the bounding box and W and H are the width and the height respectively. So in order to get uh, them, uh, in different variables, I'm going to say X comma Y comma W comma H and then I'm going to say int of B box of zero. So the first one is going to be our X. Then I'm going to copy this one over here, copy here and I'm going to paste it. So this one will be one and then I'm going to paste it two more times. Okay. And this one will be two and this one will be three. So obviously our X and Y again are top left corner 
and width is W and height is H. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print or rather I'm going to I'm going to say that I'm going to display. So I'm going to say frame equal to CV2 dot rectangle display the bounding box on the screen. So I'm going to say frame then I'm going to give the to uh, top left corner. So that is X comma Y. So what will be bottom right? It will be X plus W comma Y plus H. And after that, what I have to give, let me go in the next line. I have to give the uh, zero comma zero. I have to give the color. And lastly, what I'm going to do is I have to give the thickness that is three. Okay. So this is when the, uh, when we have detected the object. What if we haven't detected the object in the particular frame? So I'm going to say else I'm going to say print object lost. Okay. So I'm going to run this now. As you can see our videos first frame is here. So now you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit double uh, double click over here and then I'm going to draw the box. Okay. Almost as precisely as I can and then I'll hit space or enter I'll hit space you can see that the mammoth is moving and the um, this bounding box is able to detect that so this was it for today's video I hope you understood the video and